Real talk, I had no idea who the f*** you were. Huh? <clears throat> Seven. Rats. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seven <laughs> dips never felt hard in my life. <laughs> what? That's awesome. <laughs> Folks, I'm Dr. Mike for Renaissance Periodization. This is Mr. Tristan Lee for Tristan, Tristan Lee, Lee <laughs> Official. In any case, we got this together. I looked at Tristan and I thought, my God, that guy's arms are huge. But Tristan, what is the size of an arm that is big enough? Is there, is there even? I don't <laughs> think so. Which is why we're gonna train arms we're gonna do it using the RP Hypertrophy app as always. And by always, I mean recently since it's uh, starting, to, starting to hit. Uh, pain is on the menu, but uh, we already trained legs and Tristan possibly never flinched a single time, which tells me he's a cyborg from the future and this arm workout should be a breeze. But prepare for pumps. Do you have uh, some kind of stringer little situation under there that we're going to be exposing later? Uh, after, after I get a pump, yes. <laughs> and that is the rule of the day. One, two, three, let's go. We're doing the overhead easy bar extension. This is a great, amazing tricep exercise. I no longer do it because I have so much trap, I think, that I can't even get into position anymore, which sucks. I used to love this exercise. It was res responsible for a huge, huge fraction of my tricep growth. The big cues here are to keep the elbows pointed forward, especially on the way down. There's nothing wrong with putting them out, except it brings a little bit more shoulder into the equation. If you point them forward, it really just ends up being all triceps. So it's a small matter, but a matter that I think can make a, a, a very solid difference. That's a big cue. We're gonna be going slow on the way down. You gotta go deep. People don't wanna go deep on this exercise because it humbles them with how little weight they have to use in the end. It's not about how much weight you use because there's nobody keeping track of that. Hey, how much weight are we using? How much weight? Nobody gives a shit. Do proper technique, the nice, full, deep pause at the bottom stretch and a full lockout at the top, then we're making money. We're gonna do four sets here, 10 to 20 reps, super high quality. That's the first thing I wanna say. The second thing, why is my hoodie up? because Toronto, Canada is a high crime area. I don't want really to be seen by the wrong gangs, you feel me? Up, 15, elbows in, <sighs> slow. Go, go, 16, now it's time to turn it on. Let's go, elbows in. Good pause here, no rush. Speed, yes, go, 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 go. Wrap, <sighs> hell yes. Hell yes. Plus Tec one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Technique never broke down a single time. Up, go. You got one more. Let's go. We're here to go hard. Elbows in. Deep. Up, go, 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 go. Yes, back. Oh my God, amazing. 11. Very good. My rep drop off for arms compared to like legs or Anything else is so much higher. They drop off more for yeah. arms. Yeah. I think I know why, or I have a hypothesis at least. You have really, really gifted arms, and I think they're probably stronger relative to the rest of your body, and also bigger, and also more composed probably of faster twitch muscle fibers. Right. And that tends to mean that because of all of those factors independently and combined, they just don't recover as fast, okay. which is a good thing. If you have muscles that recover instantly, they're probably small and slow twitch and they suck. Mm -hmm. Like anyone that can just like back to back do the same number of reps, I'm like, nah, you need yeah. to get bigger. <laughs> you're either training like a pussy or you have a bunch of slow twitch. <laughs> yeah, and then you're, you know, you'll get bigger, but maybe not as much as you would have if yeah, you. Yeah. Seven, uh. two more. Deep. Eight, one last one. Elbows in, deep, head down. Up, up, up. Yes. Oh my God, perfect, perfect. Oh. That'll fucking do. Hey, you know on those last reps when you're like shaking? Yes. <laughs> you can feel your quads tensing. 
Why are my quads cramping on a tricep? Right. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've had my quads fully cramp on an overhead press before. Yeah. Your, your, your body terrifying. just trying to survive. <laughs> yes, it was actually very terrifying. Um, all right, let's uh, take it uh, easy for a sec and then go do dips, yeah? Let's do it. Very cool. Now that you don't have triceps anymore. Yeah. Cool. Uh, go ahead and unrack. Yeah, let's uh, find you a box. Sure. Go up high. Yeah, that way you can just stretch out. World strongest man, ready? Boop. Is that one better? Is the small block? Oh. Yeah. Overhead tricep extensions are done. Four sets of somewhere around 10 to 15 reps. And we have that logged in to the RPI Hypertrophy app. Excellent, now it's dips. Typed in our body weight. Tristan's weighing around 150 pounds, 147-ish. And these dips are done in a special way. We don't wanna come forward too much. We wanna stay more upright and come down. It's not ultra comfortable as far as how much strength you're able to produce, but it is ultra uncomfortable for the triceps getting stretched under load, which is exactly what we want. We want a measured descent, full pause at the bottom, and a full lockout at the top. Four sets of dips, yikes. He can do like 40 dips normally, fresh. He will not be getting sets of 40 because the triceps are super, super pre exhausted, which is perfect. Let's get into it. Up. Six, <clears throat> more. Deep as you can. Up. Up. <clears throat> Seven, rack. <laughs> oh my God. Seven <laughs> dips never felt hard in my life. What? That's <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. That tells me two things. One, you are really hard on the overhead extension. Your triceps are shot. And two, the technique you're using here is exactly the kind of technique that leverages the most into your triceps, the least of everything else, and it just makes them a huge limiting factor. Yes, six, more. Up, seven, one more. You got this. Deep. Go, one more, again. All the way down. Up. Go. Rack. <sighs> Hell yes. Redemption. Shit. Good stuff, man. Five. <sighs> Couple more here. Deep. Six. I see that nose touching. <sighs> One more. You got this. Up. Be athletic. Lock it. Lock it. Whoop, whoop, yes. Hell yes. Holy shit. That was the rep of a century, sir. Holy shit, it felt like a century. <laughs> Fuck. Bicep training time, but before, can I ask you to fill something out really quick? Let's do it. Just basically, how did your whole tricep situation feel? If you just answer each question, just kind of wondering what you think about this whole system. <laughs> Definitely push my limits. <laughs> Excellent. That's it. Boom. You need like a death option. <laughs> like I died. Or if you just don't fill it in, they know you died. Yes, but, it's yeah. like a 30 second timer. Yeah, the yeah. app's like, it just messages uh, 911. It's like, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> we want a maximum stretch on the bicep because stretch under load is a big thing for hypertrophy. So what we're gonna do, have you step forward. You can stagger step if you want, whatever is best. Big chest at the bottom. You don't want to be here. This stretches the biceps a lot, and then you arc through and come up to here. You don't have to come up like this, just to here. Okay. Slow and controlled, big stretch at the bottom and a little pause, boom. Big stretch and a pause, boom. Make sense? That's good. One, slow. Big strike. Finish. And as if another. Slow, chest up. Rack. 
phenomenal. So guys, my rep match, whatever number of reps Tristan gets in his first set, we're gonna write that down into the app. And then all the other sets after, if he falls a little short of it, he just takes a tiny little five second, 10 second break and then finishes however many reps he has to. Oh shit, you got a few more. Four. Oh more. Go, go, go. Slow, now don't go anywhere, just stay right there. Finish, last one, up, up, up. And as if another, slow. Big chest, big chest, big chest, and rack. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Jesus. Yeah, that works. That fucking works. One set left. Seven. One more. One more. Move. Yes. And then slow. Chest up. Rack. Excellent. Another four. One. Great technique. Two. Three. Pause at the bottom. Go. Slow. Chest up. Pause. Rack. Nice, easy rest. Two when you're ready. Yes. Now slow. Big chest. Big chest. Big chest. Pause. Rack. Ooh. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go uh, kick them while they're down, yeah? Let's do it. Last exercise for today with Mr. Tristan. This is a standing two-arm dumbbell curl, but it's done very special style. We took the Jared Feather Jerry curl, we modified it to be even more extreme. So here it is. And I'm glad you're here for this. We are going to grab the dumbbells and, well, actually without dumbbells for now, typically people curl like this, which is totally fine. What you wanna do is pre-stretch the bicep, which means you're going to, the entire time, have your chest up and out. You're actually arching your back and leaning back and you take the dumbbells all the way back here, you come up high enough that it's a little easier at the top, you, you pause for just a fraction of a second, and then slow eccentric all the way down. Pause, slow eccentric, just like that. Give it a shot a couple times. What happens if my arms fall off? We will get someone to plug them back in <laughs> and you'll do a few more reps. Go, 11, slow. Go, 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 go. Slow. That's 12. Couple more. You got this. Up, 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 up. 13. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. It's not going to make it easier. It's going to make it harder. We want harder. Up, 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 up. Slow. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Rack 14. Good shit. Holy crap. My left bicep is just so far. I don't know why my left one. Sometimes one of them just gets after yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Good stuff, man. Chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up. Even more, lean back. Yes. Nine. Chest up, keep it up. Feel oh. the bicep stretching, my man. One more. Big curl. Yes, yes, finish. And then slow. Ooh. Rack it for a bit. Four more left over. Take your time with this. We want good reps only, good reps only. Three, chest, yes. Make your quality. Finish, as if another, slow, slow. Rack, one set left, beautiful work. Jesus. Dude, fuck yeah. Tell me you got an arm pump. I can't feel my arm pump. <laughs> I, got, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Two, slow, chest up. 
Go. Slow, <laughs> slow, slow, slow. Wrap. Let's finish a fucking great workout. Big chest, everything right. Two reps to make it right. Yes, slow, extra slow this time. Yes, beautiful. Everything you got, good technique. Move. And then ultra slow. Ultra slow. Fuck yeah. Rap. Dude. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Solid. Thank you. Listen, real talk. I had no idea who the fuck you were as far as like a human being. I knew who you were as a celebrity or whatever. Celebrity. <laughs> please, please. You're full on celebrity. You're like Sylvester Stallone or some shit. Um, we've had a chance to train a couple times over the last few days. Real talk. You're the fucking man. Thank you. And because uh, you just fucking get the work done. I haven't seen you try to cheat a single rep. I haven't seen you bitch one time. You never try to duck any work. You don't show up on time, you show up early. Like, if I had to, cause you know, like, before I was like, why is this little half Asian kid famous? <laughs> and then I saw a picture and I was like, holy shit, okay. But also why? Yeah. Uh, it's cause you fucking get it done, man. Thank you. And uh, it's respectful as fuck and I fucking love it. I appreciate and I, it. And I wish you all the best and hopefully we get to collab again. But like, 100%. if someone's like, hey, you're gonna collab with Tristan again, like anytime he'll have us, the answer is yes. Thank this you. This is I the easiest it. training I've ever had to do. I say almost nothing and I'm just doing everything right. I'm, I kind of feel like I could just blend in and sit down and, and be nowhere. I appreciate it. I'm always grateful to learn from people who are oh, so experienced in the industry. There's a lot of people obviously that are just out there, but sure. for you to give me the time of day to train with you or alongside you with you coaching, it's, uh, it means a lot, so I appreciate it. I've been following content for a long time, as I'm sure all of your fan base has. And uh, Mike is even greater in person than he is on camera. So for anybody who's watching, you can uh, be rest assured it's not a persona he's putting on for, for camera or anything like <laughs> That'd that. That'd be a hell of a persona. Yeah. I sit down for YouTube like, all right, <laughs> time to become my other self. <laughs> Dude. Thank you. Mega pleasure. Mega Thank pleasure. You. Alrighty. Folks, see you next time. Be more like Tristan.